So, so today we're looking at the dot product again, but looking at it algebraically. So we're given vectors u, v, and w, and we're asked to calculate the following. So we're asked to calculate a few dot products, some angles, and a ver vector perpendicular to v. Let's see if we have any other questions. No, so just this. Okay, so what, what is the dot product? algebraically or how is it defined? So let's consider two general vectors, x, where x is x1, has coordinates x1, x2, x3, and the second vector y with coordinates y1, y2, and y3. And the algebraic interpretation or definition of the dot product is, we multiply corresponding coordinates and then add them all together. So x1, y1 plus x2, y2 plus x3, y3. That's our dot product. And of course, as we've seen before, we know that the dot product also equals magnitude of x times magnitude of y times the cosine of the angle between the two vectors. So we're interested in this second form of the definition. All right, so let's reduce this a little bit so we can get everything on the screen. And let's start our exercises. Okay, so first question, um, a dot product of u and v. So u is the vector of one, negative three, two, dot product with v, which is five, two, negative one, Multiply corresponding components. So one times five is five plus negative three times two is negative six plus two times negative one is negative two. So what does that give us? That gives us negative three. That's our dot product. B, we have V dot U minus W. Okay, a few ways we can do this. We can do v dot u minus v dot w. We're using some of the properties of dot product, or we can just figure out what u minus w is, and then take the dot product of that result with v. So why don't we do that? All right, so v is five, two, negative one dot, u is 1, negative 3, 2, minus w, which is 3, 0, 1. Okay, so we have 5, 2, negative 1, dot. Okay. So in brackets, we're going to figure out what this vector is here. So 1 minus negative 3 is negative 2. Negative 3 minus 0 is negative 3. 2 minus 1 is 1. So now we're going to take the dot product of these two vectors, and we have 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, plus 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, plus negative 1 times 1, which is negative 1. And what do we get? We get 10 minus 6 minus 1, negative 17. Excellent. Okay, now oh, we want the angle between u and u and w. So now we're going to use both definitions, put them together. All right, so let's do that. So D, oh, sorry, that's C, C. All right. So first we need the dot product of U and W. So let's do that, U and W. So our vector u, what is our vector u again? Our vector u is one, negative three, two. One, negative three, two, dot. Our vector w, let's have a look. Three, zero, one, okay. Three, zero, one. And what is that dot product? We get three plus zero plus two. Okay, we've got five, excellent. Now let's find the magnitude of u. Where should we do this? Let's do this here. Uh, 
and the magnitude of w. So the magnitude of u is the square root of 1 plus 9 plus 2. That's the square root of 12. Magnitude of w is square root of 9 plus 1, which is square root of 10. OK, so now we're going to put it all together. Both are definitions of the dot product. OK, so let's do it over here. Let's scroll to the right. So dot product of u and w equals magnitude of u times magnitude, it's funny, w, of w times cosine of the angle between them. So this is what we're looking for, or that part. So we know that the, mag, the dot product of u and w is 5. So we're going to plug that in. We know the magnitude of u is the square root of 12. The magnitude of w is square root of 10. So we're going to plug all those in. And we're just left with the cosine of theta. So now we're going to solve for cosine of theta. Because theta equals 5 times square root of 12 times square root of 10. Let's punch that into our calculator and see what we get. 5 divided by square root of 12 times square root of 10. And we end up with 0 0.456 approximately is a cosine of theta. We're going to take cos inverse. And we get theta equals 62.84 degrees. So that's the angle between our vectors u and w. So we've used both definitions of the dot product to find that. Excellent. All right, so now let's let's do part D. So we're going to do that up here, I think. Okay, part D. So a vector perpendicular to B. So the dot product, remember if two vectors are perpendicular and we take their dot product, then the value is going to be zero. So we're looking for a vector x such that you, uh, Sorry, v, my mistake, v dot x equals zero. Well, let's use these coordinates for x, x1, x2, and x3. Let's take their dot product. So let's just write them in again. And we have v is 5, 2, negative 1. The dot product, we're going to force to be zero. So we get 5x1 plus 2x2 minus x3, and that equals 0. So now we can just randomly choose values for x1, x2, and x3 that give us, that satisfy this equation. Hmm. Well, how about let x1 equal negative 2, x2 equal 5, and x3 equals 0. So, do you think that works? Let's try. All right, so let's scroll to the left a little bit. And we're going to check. So let's say that's our, our vector x. So let's check x dot product with v. And what do we get? So x is negative 2, 5, 0. v is 5, 2, negative 1. Take that dot product and we get negative 10 plus 10 plus 0. This equals 0. So yes, x vector x equaling negative 2, 5, and 0 is perpendicular to v. Good. All right. So that brings us to the end of our session. Dot products algebraically. So if you have any questions, feel free to send us a note at info at or give us a call day or evening, and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you for watching and see you soon.